Hello. So today I want to discuss with you uh, the best advice I have ever received about writing. There were two, three advices. First one is just start writing. The more you write, the more clarity you will get about what you're writing. And this is very true for me. You see, I am very bad at communication, especially verbal communication. That was my Achilles heel for a very, very long time. I'm an introvert by nature. So to talk to people, I would be heard mumbling. I could not speak to people. But to teach myself to speak properly to people, I started writing down what I wanted to say to them. And slowly while writing, this is when you write it down on paper, is when you get more clarity about what you're writing. The, you can build upon the sequence. You can see the gaps where you've said, oh, I want to do this and this is why I want to do it. And because is missing, the reasons are missing, the connections between the lines are missing. And that's why your story doesn't come through. What happens is writing gives you that clarity. Second thing that I learned was that when you write, write as if you're speaking to somebody. It is not formal English. It is, might not be extremely grammatically correct in the beginning. You can make it grammatically correct, but you have to see which rules suit you. Not all the rules of writing can make your writing interesting. If you put all the rules of writing in your writing, sometimes they don't make the writing interesting. You have to see which rules work for you. Then one more thing that I found out was that when I make a change to my chapter anywhere in my writing, in a blog post, in a chapter, something that is a continuous read, I go back from the first line and start reading it all over again because I have to see that the connectivity is there. Many times when you're writing a story, even if it's a non-fiction story, we enjoy those uh, light bulb moments and you want to quickly go on to the next light bulb moment and leave everything in between that, you know, where you were fumbling and you were thinking about the idea, leave that aside. Sometimes that's the major crux of the story. Sometimes it just connects to people. You have to see how your story goes. Sometimes just leave the rules, write for yourself, write it down, and then you can work on it. But don't start by thinking about the rules or start by thinking about your reader and then write with that reader's face in front of you. Oh, that's terrible. You can't write like that because if you think you're writing to an audience and every line of yours has to make them sit up and nod their head, it would be a very difficult task.